Hi, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to all my viewers all over the world. So, talagang painit na painit ang number one afternoon prime na prima, prima donas na kumabog sa dating numero unong kadenang ginto at talagang pinaka, pinakakain ngayon ng alikabok ang katapat nitong uh, programa ni Kim Chu. So, gusto ko kayong bigyan ng updates sa sa magiging kaganapan ng uh, pagpasok ni James Blanco at uh, sinasabi ng si si James Blanco ang magiging tatay tatay ni May o Jillian Wards pero bago yan Uh, bago yan ay magchichika minute muna tayo bago natin talakayin ang magaganap na pagyaman di umano ni May o Jillian Wards at ang kung sino nga ba talaga ang kanyang tunay na tatay dahil talagang napakaraming twist na kaganapan sa nangyayari ngayong painit na painit na afternoon prime na prima donas dahil ang dami nang naiinis at buong mundo na talaga So bago yan ay magchichika minute muna tayo about sa usap-usapan na balak di umano ni uh, Boy Abunda na paglipat sa kabilang network, sa kanyang dating network, sakaling magsarado na ang ABS-CBN. Okay? Pagkatapos natin magchika minute ay atin nang tatalakayin ang prima donas, ang paparating na bagong karakter o dumating na, na sa katauhu, katauhan ni James Blanco bilang Ruben na sinasabing aahon sa lusak kina Lilian at May okay so magchichika muna chika minute muna tayo did boy abunda predict a return to GMA network Netizens have different views regarding King of Talk Boy Abunda's own statement which take on new meaning, new meaning now that ABS-CBN is facing franchise renewal troubles. Entertainment columnist Ronnie Carrasco recently shared in his article that Tito Boy once told him in the past, I quote, Alam mo Ron, I have a feeling I'll end up in GMA. Carriasco recalled that it happened some some 10 or so so years ago when he was invited by the King of Talk for a possible writing job opening with an online site that was affiliated with ABS-CBN. After the briefing, the, columni the columnist stated that their conversation jumped from one topic to, an to, to another which led Abunda to drop a hint that he will return to his former network. At that time, Tito Boy had already transferred to ABS-CBN. According to Karyasko, Asia's King of Talk also said, I quote, I don't burn bridges, as if, he, as if he knew in his heart that GMA Network is his end game. On February 21, the 60 The 64-year-old host hosted a dinner for I Idolas Alas with, executive, with GMA executives. The prominent host got slammed and bashed by net netizens because of the said dinner which happened at the same time with the ABS-CBN rally. Thank, I quote, Thank you, Ama Mr. Boy Abunda, for hosting the dinner with GMA bosses. Salam, mar, salamat po sa time, Miss Lilibet, Miss Darling, Miss Ruth, Miss Gigi, Miss Nini, and Miss Weng of II. Sarap ng kwentuhan. Yehey, and thank you sa mga lady bosses for their time. Many netizens mistook his actions. which led them to doubt the loyalty and promise of Tito Boy to his mother to support and fight for ABS-CBN that is currently facing franchise renewal issues. Boy about not get emotional during Moira de la Torre recent guesting. Carriasco added that even though 
Carriasco added that even though Abunda had not yet expressed his contingency plan in the event that ABS-CBN faces a shutdown, he is sure that the latter will do at will do teaching jobs as the latter has long dreamt of becoming a part of the academy like his late mother, Nanay Lesing. Tito Boy has been with the Kapamilya Network for over 20 years now. However, the talk show host and his first showbiz talk show with GMA Network called Show and Tell Show and Tell way back in 1994. Before he gained prominence, he was the public relations consultant of the Kapuso Network. He then became the host of Show and Tell, a late-night variety talk show with Gretchen Barreto. He also hosted Star Talk, also known as Star Talk, the only showbiz authority and Star Talk TX, an entertainment talk show in 1995 with Lolit Solis, Joey De Leon, Butch Pransik, Francisco, Rick, Ricky Law, and Hart Evangelista. He then moved to GMA Network's competitor, ABS-CBN, in 1999, in which he hosted the, the bus, private conversations, homeboy, Contribu controversial, SNN, showbiz news ngayon, and the bottom line with Boy Abunda. He is currently hosting the late night talk show Tonight with Boy Abunda. After months of slow action, the House of Represent Representatives has finally scheduled its first hearing on the bills filed at the Congress, which are all seeking to renew the franchise of ABS-CBN, which will be happening on March 10. However, House Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano Cla clarified that the hearing will focus on his proposal for National Telecommunication Commission to make sure that the ABS-CBN can still operate on air while its franchise bill are pending in Congress. So, ayan po ang uh, pagbibigyan ng hint ni Mr. Boy Abunda sa kanyang napipintong pagbabalik ka, kapuso sa GMA Network. So, mabalik na po tayo sa pinakaabang ang prima donas okay so pumasok na nga po ang karakter ni ni James Blanco sa katauhan bilang Jaime na sinasabing magiging magiging uh, tatay ni uh, uh, Mai so lumabas nga na hindi to sa DNA test na hindi anak ni Jaime si Mai Pero ang napakalaking twist nito ay pumasok na si James Blanco sa katauhang uh, Ruben at sinasabing si, si Ruben ay siyang tunay na tunay na anak ng asawa ni Lady Prima. At at sinasabing si Jaime ay isang ampun lamang. So na wala nang matagal na panahon si Jaime, na, na wala nang matagal na panahon si Ruben sa piling ni Lady Prima nung bata pa siya. At ngayon lang magki, ma, magkikita muli, may chance magkita uli si Lady Prima at papasok na nga, ikikwento na nga ni Lady Prima na may kapatid si Jaime. Si Jaime. At, at yun ang tunay na Claveria uh, sa katauhan ni James Blanco. So ngayon kahit hindi pa to, uh, hindi hindi naman maging Claveria si Hi, uh, si si Ruben ay napakayaman na ngayon ni Ruben. Um, bag, uh, paano pa kung pumasok siya at makita na ni Lady Prima ang kanil ilang tunay na nawawalang uh, anak na si Ruben. Sapagkat nung nawala si Ruben Nung time na nawala si Ruben, ay super nalungkot si Lady Prima. Sa dahil lang nga, naisip ng kanyang asawa, ang asawa ni Lady Prima, na para maibsan ang kalungkutan ni Lady Prima sa pagkawala ni Ruben, ay umanap na lang sila ng bata o mag-ampun na lang. Yun na nga ang katauhan ni Jaime. 
So ngayon may chance na at mag-cross na ang landas ni Ruben at uh, Lady Prima. Uh, mauungkat na ang tinatagong sikreto sa pagiging ampon ni Jaime. So, lalabas sa DNA test na si Ruben ay tunay niyang anak si Mai. Dahil nung panao, panahong yon ay uh, nagkaroon ng relasyon si Lilian at si Jaime, si Lilian at si Ruben, kung sa dahil lang uh, bakit kung sa dahil lang bakit hindi nag, uh, nag match ang DNA test ni Jaime at ni Mai dahil dahil si Jaime ay isang ampun lamang at ang tunay na anak ay si Ruben so magmamatch ngayon ang DNA test ni Mai at ni Ruben so ang dalawang uh, uh, klaberiya na si Lenlen at yung isa pa ay talagang uh, hindi mga klaberiya dahil hindi lehiti mong klaberiya dahil ang kanilang tunay na amang si Jaime ay isang ampun lamang okay so itong hayam po natin lalabas na yan sa Friday so maraming maraming salamat sa mga tumutok sa primadonas at uh, sa lahat ng na napadaan sa aking channel ay please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye!